My name is Steve McCurry. I'm a photographer. My first trip to Afghanistan was in the spring of 1979. And I've been going to Afghanistan uh, every year since then. When I first went there, I could walk anywhere in the hills, Nuristan, any remote area, alone, without an escort, without a guide. Uh, today, that, that's absolutely out of the question. There's many occasions in Afghanistan where I thought maybe this was my you know, last, <laughs> last day. Um, I was stopped at gunpoint uh, several times on the street. Uh, my hotel room was robbed while I was, while I was in it and uh, under fire numerous times throughout various incarnations of this ongoing conflict. And when I took that picture, and it ended up on the cover of National Geographic in June of 1985, we started getting letters, thousands of letters, people from all over the world wanting to send her money, uh, send her clothes, uh, uh, help her in whatever way men wanted to marry her. It was it's this incredible outpouring of concern and interest. What's so compelling about the Afghan girl photograph is the fact that it's a mixture of emotions. It speaks in some ways to the fact that she was not only a refugee but also an orphan. That They're very tough people but they also have an incredible sense of humor. They're very generous, friendly, witty people in the world and it's a pity that because of, of this conflict people think of Afghans as, as, as terrorists and all disgruntled and, and, and trying to do terrible things but in fact they're uh, uh, really wonderful people.